I'm Stephanie D. Sanders, and this is Sports Zone on the HBTV Sports Network. On Saturday, April 27th and Sunday, April 28th at Lake Myrtle Sports Park in Auburndale, the Florida Youth Soccer Association comes to town with the State Cup Round of 16. The various teams competing in this State Cup Round of 16 have already played and qualified in earlier State Cup rounds. Now, the challenge begins with single elimination play and continues on advancing the winners from Day 1 to Day 2 and from Day 2 to the championships. They'll be representing Florida in the Region 3 Southern Regional Championships for Youth Soccer. The full schedule of information regarding the finals and the championships about the FYSA State Cup Round of 16 can be found at FYSA.com or call 863-268-8220. If model aviation is your thing, or you just want to come out and see what they can do, well, Top Gun is just for you. Frank Tiano presents this worldwide event in Lakeland, Florida. On Wednesday, May 1st through Sunday, May 5th, the World Championships of Professional Radio Controlled Model Aircraft will take place. 7,000 spectators are expected to be in Polk County for this five-day endless competition. There'll be food, a hobby trade show, air show, and a lot more. It's all happening at Lakeland Linder Regional Airport, 3900 Don Emerson Drive in Lakeland. If you have questions about this event, contact Frank Tiano at 863-607-6119 or email him at frank at franktiano.com. Additional information can be found at www.franktiano.com. Now back to Parkview, number 21, Matt Olsen. On May the 5th, the 5th annual Sweetwater Paddle for the Cure is back and better than ever in downtown Tampa. In two separate categories, this event features a five-mile race and a two-mile family fun paddle for kayaks and stand-up paddle boards. So if a little competition is in your blood, they have something for you. And if a little family fun is what you want, they have something for you too. It's all for a good cause. This event will benefit the Multiple Myeloma Research Foundation, who does research and develops drugs to fight multiple myeloma and other types of cancers, along with the Be The Match, a company that maintains the nation's bone marrow registry and also connects patients with a donor match for bone marrow transplants. The event gets underway from Julian B. Lane Riverfront Park at 1001 North Boulevard in Tampa. For those who need it, rentals will be available. It's the fifth annual Sweetwater Paddle for the Cure. Go on out and beat cancer with a paddle. The Lakeland Table Tennis Association Incorporated presents the Florida Orange Blossom Series Spring Classic Open. It's table tennis at its finest. I can remember the days when people would line up at the Recreation Center to play the next winner at the table. 
I'm sure this is a whole different level of play, but entertaining nonetheless. This tournament is expected to bring 100 participants to the Polk County area. So mark it down for Friday, May 3rd and Saturday, May 4th at Simpson Park Community Center in Lakeland for the Florida Orange Blossom Series Spring Classic Open. For information, you can contact Brad Woodington at bradwoodington at gmail.com. Additional information can be found at floridatt.com. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. We're coming in on one. For information on how your school can join the Play On School broadcast program, go to fhsaanetwork.com slash sbp. Stephanie D. Sanders here for the Sport Zone Rundown. At home with the Lakeland Raiders on Sunday, April 28th, the Raiders take on the Chattahoochee Vipers. Then on Saturday, May 4th, they move on to the Corpus Christi Fury. The Missouri Monsters come to town on Saturday, May 18th. Then on the weekend of May 31st, it's round one of the playoffs. Sport Zone is brought to you in part by Ms. Nidra Butler's New Creations 2. I'm Stephanie D. Sanders for HBTV Sports Network.